Hello guys, how are you? Hope kila mtako fine wherever you are watching this video from. Guys, of course, this is your guy Albert. And today, nimeka hapa hivi. Niko na story. I have a story, the journey for myself. In case you are new on this channel, remember to subscribe, like, and share the video. And be among the family in this channel. Guys, leo niko na nimeamua ni a story about my journey. Ndo at least mweze kuelewa Albert ni nani na yeye ako na historia gani kwa maisha yake. Uh, so far, so good. Kwa majina ni Albert Nyangono. Born and raised in Kenya. Pale kisi. Before ni nyame kuja hapa Amerikani. Uh, during my uh, leo ni meamua ni wale test story kuhuzu maisha yangu something that I've never disclosed online but ni kamua leo wacha ni ni leta story tuchape siyasa tusikize so you get to know Albert ni nani Uh, Albert ni kijana ambao amelelewa pale kisi reserve maisha yangu yote nilibahatika nikakuja Amerikani the year 2013 sababu Mungu alifungua milango na nikajipata Niko Amerikani. When I came to America, nilifuraia sana na nikaona mungu hame tedekea, hame na ameweza kubadrisha maisha angu kwa kunipatia na fast ya kuja Amerikani mahali penye kuna opportunities at least in a change in my shangu. That's when I gained the household name as the father of two Isaac and baby Lexis. I'm happy kwa watoto wangu wawili Mba mungu amenipatia hao ndio hao ndio najifunia I'm happy for my son Isaac I'm happy for my daughter baby Lexis Luna Esther Nyangono who was born right after the death of my mom just Christmas Eve, then Lexis was born three days later, just right after the death of my mom. I'm so happy, I'm so humbled. It has been a journey. Na sija hiongea chochote, pati mungu ni muema. Mungu ameni tendekamia, mungu ameni onekania, na mungu ameni place kunipa familia yangu ambao nachifunia Guys Let me take you to siku zangu za nyuma kidogo 
right after nime travel kuja hapa Marekani the year 2013 wakati nilitoka Kenya nikakuja Marekani mimi na familia yangu yote wazazi wangu wakiwemo tulikuwa very united very okay very happy family together we could share words we could share anything but nilipo fika amerikani the year 2013 We hoped that now God has opened baraka kwa familia. Vitu zingeenda. Tungefurahia sana na tunge kwa more united as a family. Tuli tuliendelea hadi mwaka wa 20 17 The year 2017 tulikuwa bado tuko pamoja kama familia twazungumza kama familia tukiwa pamoja Ah uh, 2015 nili kama desturi nilipopata pesa baada ya kusetle hapa Amerikani the year 2015 niliweza kujenga nyumba kama desturi yetu niliweza kujenga nyumba nyumba yangu pale nyumbani na babangu mzazi aliweza kunionyesha mahali pa kuchenga hiyo nyumba nilijenga nyumba yangu ambayo ili ni cost roughly 5 million kenyan shillings 5 million nikijua nimejenga nyumba ambayo nitachifunia wakati nitapokuwa naenda nyumbani naingia pale Ah uh, Nyumba nilipoanza 2015 na ikakamilika mwaka wa 2016 end of 2016 between no October and November of 2016 everything was done it was completed and it was paka furniture kwa nyumba nilikuwa nimeweka kila kitu so it was me now to organize a day niende kufungua nyumba officially after kumaliza hayo yote babangu mzazi my dad my late father kept on telling me na and then mbona unakuja lini ukuje kuona nyumba yako ambao ulichenga unataka nyumba ianguke ndio kuje kuiona i kept on pushing i kept on telling my dad i'm planning to come i'm planning to come indeed hiyo wakati nyumba yangu ilikuwa nilikuwa naiwaza kwa mandoto kila wakati hati nimefika nyumbani niko pale naangalia marooms venye zilijengwa makosa ni gani ilifanyika ilikuwa kwa kwa kili yangu but sikufaulu ku travel nilikata tiketi ya kwanza 
na nikaweza ikakuwa something happened nikaweza ku cancel hiyo ticket tena ikafika wakati mwingine tena later on tena nika cancel uh, then finally the ticket ika, ikaamua kuungua because when canceling one first time second time and third time sasa inaungua ikaungua nilikuwa nimeshanunua nimetuma babangu mzazi pesa ya nilikuwa nimetuma ngombe inuniliwe nilikuwa nimetuma baba akaenda huko karibu soko ya kununua ngombe ambao ni nyangusu walienda pale wakaenda kutafuta ngombe but hawakufaulu kupata wakaamua kununua mbuzi walinua mbuzi mbuzi mbili but wakasema ngombe watangoja baadaye ni kama soko ya ngombe ngombe siku kwa vizuri hiyo wakati wakakuja na mbuzi nikatuma pesa through my sister ambaye alinipatia budget ya home warming nilituma pesa 1200000 200000 hiyo ni fedha ya budget ya kufanya mambo na home warming but wakati tulikuwa tunapanga hayo yote vitu sikaribika things never went the way i was expected and i had to cancel everything ile pesa ya ngombe niliambua kuambia wanitegeshe lakini sikurekeshewa ile pesa ya mbuzi mbuzi nazo zilipaki pale nyumbani but ikafika wakati mwingine christmas ikafika mimi nikawaambia tumieni hizo mbuzi manake sasa safari ilivanya na mbuzi ziko hapo wacha watumie nikawapatia okay wakatumia but before watumie hizo mbuzi mbuzi moja waliniambia iligongwa si nini ilifanya ikaenda kama inaenda kukufa wakaichinja siji kama ni ukweli ama ni uongo walitumia but hiyo ni ukweli hivyo ndio nilipata habari but mbuzi nyingine ikafika wakati wa christmas ah mimi nikaambia chinja pia hiyo mkule pia ah zile pesa nilikuwa nimetumia dadangu 1200 niliweza kuamuamurisha aniweze kutumia hizo pesa kuja kwangu manake vitu ilikuwa nimepangwa hazijafanyika mm ili come vigumu sana dada kupata hizo pesa haikuwa rahisi ngawaje nilipewa but sikupata zote zingine zilikonfatiwa hivi na hivi na hivi mpaka ikakuwa venye ilikuwa sikuzipata zote zingine nikaambiwa fanya hivi zimeenda hivi zimeenda hivi zimeenda hivi sikaanza kupangiwa sina pewekewa budget on my behalf paka hizo pesa zikaisha hivyo pila mimi kupokea pesa zangu nikasema ni sawa pesa ukishatuma kwenda Kenya kuregesha ni shida that's the truth about it hiyo nikawacha ikafika babangu mzazi kept on asking me why my son mbona usikuje kuja kuona nyumba yako indi ni siku gani utaniletea mchukuu ambao ni Isaac. Isaac Isaac alizaliwa na nilimpandika jina ya baba yangu mzazi. Isaac anaitwa Isaac Nyangono. I named Isaac after my dad, but my dad by that time had quite alive. My dad alikuwa happy sana kuzaliwa kwa Isaac na kuwa pewa jina lake. Alikuwa anataka kumuona sana alikuwa anataka kumuona sana but ni me, I kept on promising na kuja na kuja na kuja but my dad kept on asking me ndio kondetera omochukoro ndio kondetera nyangono morore 
yani kwa Kiswahili wanasema utaniletea nini nyang'ona nyang'ona ni yani mtoto kiza kanaitwa nyang'ona jina lake utaniletea nini ni muone something hii kitu ilinisumbua kwa kicho sana 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 iliniwasha sana but i could make it kafika mwaka wa 2019 2019 my dad hakuwa nasikia vizuri hapo mwezi wa 10 hivi 2019 october he wasn't feeling well then they had to take him to hospital pale kisi ah uh, tulishangaa sana nini inaendelea but aliweza kupimwa but haiko kwa akwa mgonjwa sana but waliweza kumuadmit tena wakam wakasema uh, wakamwachilia baada ya siku tatu akarudi nyumbani uh, vile walimwachilia hawakuona ugonjwa yake kubwa hawakuona chochote naye pia alikuwa na nguvu wakati hiyo but alipokaa nyumbani siku siku azikwenda sana tena wakasema tena amesikia vibaya tena akachukuliwa hospitali pale Ogembo but alipochukuliwa pale Ogembo hospitali there was an the the doctor ama daktari pale alijaribu kumwangalia lakini hakuona ni hakuwa very serious kwa admitted but there's a phone call ilikuja ya kurasmisha na kurasmisha daktari aweze kuadmit baba daktari akuelewa hayo ni kwa nini kulingana vinye ile story tunapewa tulipata ah uh, hiyo simu ikarash ikalasmisa ule mwenye alikuwa anashughulika aliweza kuchoka maana yake daktari anasema haya na kuna pia kuna order from above inalasmisha ti baba aweze ku kuku admitted kwa hospitali then the person mwenye alikuwa anashughulika hiyo wakati aliweza ku surrender akasema mimi hapana hii kusunguzwa hapa na hapa na hapa ya hapana but kuna kitu ilikuwa hapo katikati ambaye haikueleweka ni gani somebody took it over na ile malazimisho ikakuwa ya kuadmit ika, ikawezekana baada ya kuweka kukataliwa daktari kukataa wakafika nyumbani tena tena gari karegeshwa tena back murugesha pale aweze kwa admitted pale akiwa admitted pale hospitali waliweza kufanya nini waliweza ku masungumzo yalienda kwa daktari na akapewa instructions daktari naye akati kulingana na zile instructions amepewa hii kuchukua siku kidogo hivi siku ama siku moja hivi uh, mpangili kawekwa wakamtransfer kwenda Nairobi gari kamkimbisha Nairobi akapelekwa hospitali ya Kenyatta pale Kenyatta hospital wakasema ati eh hapa kutoka Gembo wakasema ati sababu amempeleka Nairobi ati amepatikana akiwa na cancer something which was shocking from nowhere but hiyo majibu ilikuwa na question mark maana yake kuna kuna kitu haikuwa inaeleweka vizuri but walisema ati hapo imepatikana na kanza but the, kulingana na majibu inatoka mara inakuja hapa mara inakuja hapa hakuna mule mwenye anapata majibu ya ukweli wakapeleka pale hospitali ya Nairobi wakasema pia mzee ako na kanza na iko stage 4 iko the ile stage mbaya okay haikueleweka ah uh, pale hospitali bili ya hospitali ilikuwa kubwa sana 
the bill of the, uh, the hospital bill ilikuwa kubwa sana manake pale ilikuwa hospitali ya wakubwa ya wadosi uh, waliweza ku peleka mzee kwa operation kuangalia nini ilikuwa pale shida gani but maswali yalikuwa mengi pale manake mzee alikuwa na miaka mingi mbona akapelekwa kwa operation but hakuna mwenye angeza kujibu hiyo swali but ikakuwa kile kinafanyika kinafanyika but wale wanashughulika au ndio wanashughulika sisi tukao tukiuliza maswali lakini hatujibiwi tunauliza maswali hatujibiwi huni baba yetu mzazi tuko na haki ya kuulizia lakini ule hakutujibu hayuko unasikia kile kinafanyika mimi mwenyewe sababu nilikuwa hapa hivi ilinisumbua akili sana na nikataka kufuatilia nini naendelea but the more nilikuwa nafuatilia the more na nafungiwa the information ikaanza kufunikwa yani watu wakaanza kukatazwa wasipeleke ujumbe hivyo hivyo ofyo ofyo so ikakuwa kila mtu anakaa na uoga kuongea ile yenye anajua bili hospitali ikakuwa kubwa wakaweza kutengeneza whatsapp group ambao tuliweka pale kama marafiki na familia na watu wote walikuwa pale kwa hiyo whatsapp group niliweza kuuliza maswali mimi kama kijana huyu ni baba yetu mzazi kuna vitu ziko naelewa zinafanywa namna gani niliweza kuandika message pale na kuuliza maswali kinye kinaendelea sikujibiwa wala ni kenye kilifanyika niliweza kutupwa nje kwa hiyo whatsapp group but the message was very strong niliuliza message nyingine kubwa sana nika communicate na kuuliza maswali but walishinda kufuta watu waliona watu walikuwa marafiki walikuwa pale kwa hiyo whatsapp group waliona hiyo message but wakaona nini but wakati nilitupwa nje uh, one of the family member alisema ignore the person mwenye amekuwa amekuwa ameandika haya maneno huyu ni one of the family member kuna mental issue alinitusi hivyo niliambiwa ubuchumbe baadaye after wamenitoa alijaribu kukanya watu na kuambia mimi niko na mental issue ndio maana naandika hizo vitu hapo hayo ndio majibu alifunika na hiyo story kafunikwa ikaende wakaendelea na shughuli zao few days later my dad passed away wangu aliaga dunia tukiwa na maswali mingi sana tukiuliza nini naendelea before babangu akufe mamangu mzazi alikuwa anaishi na mimi hapa amerikani tuko tunaishi na ehe yeye ndiye alikuwa ananisaidia kulea kijanaangu Isaac but when the story came like father ko mgonjwa mamangu aliweza kusafiri kwenda Kenya lakini aliposafiri kwenda Kenya ni kitu ambao sikuambiwa sikuelezwa mimi kama kijana wao tuko tunaishi na mama mama nilienda kazini kama kawaida kufika kurudi asubuhi mimi nafanya shift ya usiku kurudi asubuhi kwa nyumba nikapata mama hayuko kulizia nini naendelea majibu hakukuweko nikakuwa kama nimechanganyikiwa kidogo kidogo nikaweza kuona picha sikitambaa kwa was is it whatsapp group yeah i think in whatsapp group mama akiwa kenya yeah one of the pictures that mama amefika kenya 
Ah, niliweza kufuatilia ilinichanganya sana aliweza kuenda namna gani but kunilikuwa kuna mpangilio with the families of mine walipanga wakaweza wakatuma mtu akakuja kwa nyumba yangu akachukua mama na kumweka kwake waka mama akalala kwake asubuhi yake akamkia kwenda airport something yenye sikupenda sana nikasema hata kama hata kama mbona huyu mama huyu ni mama mzazi wangu mbona mtoroshe mama kutoka kwa nyumba yangu mimi nikitinda mimba yake i'm the last born mbona mufanye hivi mimi nikaonea mama kupale Kenya ameenda kuona father witness father vinye father alikuwa mgonjwa something i never liked but nikaachia hapo nikasema Mungu anajua sababu Mama alipo travel kwenda Kenya hizo drama zikaendelea kukua kubwa mimi nikapua wakanitoa nje kwa hiyo WhatsApp group nikiuliza maswali ya maswali ya ukweli like anybody can ask as a family person niko na right ya kuuliza hizo maswali niliweza kurushwa nje na nikakuwa abandoned nikaambiwa kila mtu anyamaza asimwambie kichochote si kwa na mtu akuniambia anything ila tu one of my sister mmoja ambaye alikuwa saidi yangu huyu ndio tulipambana na yeye akiniambia the updates ya kila kitu niliweza kumtumia pesa na nikamwambia hizo pesa mimi wewe tumia ufanye matanga ya mzazi mimi Albert wakati ma father aliaga sikuweza kuhudhuria matanga yake si ati sikutaka kuhudhuria sikutaka but nilipatiwa threatening messages threats za kuniambia za kuambiwa nikifika ntauliwa nizikwe na kama babangu Nilikuwa na shughuli mingi inaendelea I was busy working on me becoming a citizen but hiyo pia haikuwa kitilinizuia sana Kenye kilinizuia ni hizo ma threats nini kukuwa citizen ya kukuwa kukuja sui nini tafanyika na Kenya unaielewa lenye limetoka kwa mdomo ya mtu lenza fanyika nikaogofia hayo wakafanya shughuli ya matanga wakamaliza mimi pila kuhusishwa and kukua part of the matanga waliendelea hiyo shughuli shughuli zikaenda hadi mwisho father kaaga akamalizia safari yake kaisha hiyo nilijaribu ku maso at least pia mimi ni kwe part of the family familia ili iliamua kuniachilia nje nikapigia mama simu nikamwambia mama mbona mnaniacha mama yangu mzazi pia hakuwa na hakuwa na uwezo alikuwa anashangaa nini naendelea it happened na ikakuwa hivyo Uh, ikafika wakati babangu ana the final journey the final day nilikuwa na napiga simu kila wakati nikadhani pia mimi nitapewa nafasi ya kuongea angalau at least hata kama sijahudhuria nitaongea hiyo nafasi haikukweko sikupewa hakuna mwenye angenipea hakuna mwenye aliongea kuhusu kutokuja kwangu hakuna mwenye aliongelea anything about my existence never nobody talked about it kile kilikuweko pale ni kufanya matanga ya wasiwasi wanadhani niko around wanadhani nimekuja wanadhani 
ni kama niko yani wanaokofia kuna Albert anaweza tokeza any time from nowhere nobody was sure like niliamua kuachilia nikasema drama it happen it happen mimi siendi wacha kae wale wakofa wakiogopa waka wakaanza ku spread false information about me ati wakiulizwa wakaambia group fulani ya watu yanze kudanganya ati mbona Albert hajakuja yeyote alingeuliza hiyo swali angeambiwa Albert Albert hakukua jela walisema Albert alikuwa niko nimekwekwa kwa jela something like most people could not believe it there is a person mwenye alisikiza hiyo akakataa akamwambia pana Albert yuko kwa jela baka kata Albert yako kwa jela ndio maana hajakuja wananiekelea ku information ya uongo ndio huyu jamaa akakataa akasema pana that's very no that's very wrong Albert yuko kwa jela Albert tunaongea na yeye kwa messenger facebook nini ako available ako on wakasema America una kuna access uko free kwa access social media like anybody so hiyo siku hiyo imaanisha tia yuko kwa ako kwa jela bado propaganda ikasamba ika but niliambia ujumbe ndio hiyo but ni ile walikuwa nataka kufunika kuharibu image yangu something mimi sijai kanyaka sijai ona milango, milango ya jela but mtu ananiwishia ati niko kwa jela sijai jua i've never been a criminal in my life america nimekaa miaka i've never been a criminal my record is clean Waliposema haya yote ikakuwa ni sawa. Kifo ya Fadhe Kaisha, story Kaisha, nikalalamika, story was dusted and dumped. Ai Kaisha. Ilipofika na mwaka wa hiyo ilikuwa 2019 November towards the Christmas. Ndio baba Fadhe alikufa. Ilipofika sasa tumezaulika yote tumesahau hiyo yote tumesahau hii imekuwa imezaulika mimi nika ilipofika mwaka wa 2021 januari nikaweza ku travel kwenda Kenya nilipo travel kwenda Kenya nilikuwa sasa mpata mjumba wangu my wife Diana tulikuwa tushapatana na yeye alafu ilikuwa wakati wangu kukwenda Kenya kwenda ku meet in person Diana stood with me akaelewa story yangu nilimwelezea ilipofika Kenya alinipokea kuna mwenye alijua kama anaenda Kenya ngawa Diana peke yake alikuja kwa airport akanipokea tukakuwa na yeye tukaamua kwenda Mombasa ni steady mimi kwenda nyumbani si kwenda manake pale nyumbani hakukuwa sawa haikuwa safe kwangu nilikuwa nimepewa threats nyingine mingi sana about my life na pia lazima uogope na pia kulikuwa na ndoto mingi zilikuwa zinanikujia zinaniambia danger ndoto mingi zilikuwa zinaniambia mambo hayako sawa kuonyesha Mungu alikuwa ananionyesha Kenya kinaendelea sasa sababu hayo yote nikaamua kutoa fika nyumbani Kenya nilifanya nilienda nika meet my wife nikamweleza story yote hata yeye alishangaa mbona wakufanyia hivyo aliona ni jambo jingine mgeni sana but kawaida ali understand she stood firm with me 
she stood firm with me. Hako nilenga sababu ya hiyo yote. Alisimama na mimi na mimi pia nikasikia niko na nguvu. Tukaenda Mombasani. Tukakula stare zetu. Wakati lipofika nikarudi Amerikani. Niliporudi Amerikani waliweza kuona picha kwa mtandao nilikuwa around but sikuwafikia lakini sikufika hadi nyumbani walianza kulalamika huko na pale manake the only person who met me a family member ni ndugu yangu ambao anafuata mara ya pili kumbuka mimi ndio last born kuna ndugu yangu mmoja na kuna mwingine wa wa katikati hapo mwenye nafuata huyu ndio ni mimi nilipigia simu pale Nairobi wakati na nimekaribia kurudi airport that night i was travel i was traveling back but nikampigia simu nikamwambia kuja paka mahali fulani niko hapa hivi akakuja tukaweza kukaa na yeye tukaongea tukakula but jioni akanisindikiza kwenda airport but before tuende airport tuliweza kupiga picha na hiyo picha nilipiga intentionally kwa nikamwambia i post kwa whatsapp group kuonyesha kwamba niko na niko na yeye ngawaje sija meet anybody niko na yeye hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua location ya mali nilikuwa tulikana huyo ndugu yangu paka tukafika airport sasa wakati tume tumefika airport mimi nimerudi amerikani ya karudi nyumba akarudi huko ile picha aliwapostia pale kwa ile whatsapp group ikaleta shida wakaanza kumgombanisha alikupea nini mbona ulikana yeye story kama yani kama wataki ni kule na mtu hata mmoja wakaanza kumgombanisha huku na huku wakimrusharusha na pia akakuwa na uoga manake huu ni ndugu yangu lakini ni kama hana haki kukana mimi anagombanishwa manake ameonekana akiwa na mimi i told him stand firm and know who you are mimi na wewe tuko namna gani usitishwe na mtu ati mbona umeonekana na mimi kuonekana na mimi si atia mimi ni ndugu yako but because of being a coward akawa naokopa sana akaokopa sana ikaisha hivyo mimi nikasema yeye ni kijana mkubwa mimi ni mdogo wake lakini kama anaokopa ni sawa wacha aende tu ile direction anataka kwenda mimi nikanyamaza my sister mwenye alikuwa anaongea tuko tunaongea na yeye naye pia akawa amechukuliwa ah wambao wengine walikuwa naona ati huyu mwenye na tunaongea na yeye sister yangu mmoja wakaweza kumchukua ndia akuwe anatumika sasa kunimaliza sister yangu huyo pila mimi kujua akaanza kunichimba maneno lakini sababu Mungu pia ni mkubwa nika sense danger nikakuwa simwambii vitu zangu zote ngawaje tuko tuna share secrets everything about me alikuwa anajua na mi pia nika sense danger hakuna mtu aliniambia i sense danger nikajua inaweza kuwa pia yeye ayuko ayuko honest siku kwa mbali na majibu nikakaja kuja kuambiwa baadaye story yeye ndia anatumikwa sasa yeye ndio on the center because walijua yeye ndio alikuwa anajua everything about me sasa ameingia on the center kwa kutumikwa sasa kunipiga vita ndio wa, at least wanipate vizuri wapate all my secrets unajua wanatumika ule mtu mwenye anakufikia karibu ndio waweze kujua my moves nimepanga vipi wakati niligundua hivyo niliweza kumdump na nikamwacha nikamwambia fanya kifitu zako paka sasa hivi. Uh, 
aliweza alijaribu sana kunichoro kunikoroga kunichokora kupiga vita bibi yangu bifaa kuja kutoka Kenya my wife alikuwa pale Kenya walikuwa walijaribu kumkoroga lakini Mungu alitusaidia manake tulisimama imara tuk, nika protect i protected my wife in a way nobody ange interfere walikuwa na jaribu kukuja na kumpigia simu wanachifanya hivi but mimi nilikuwa nimemfunza nilikuwa nimefunza bibi yangu chinzi ya ku kwa, kwa tekeleza because angekuwa careless hivyo wange vitu zingekuwa mbaya simu inaweza kuja hivi ana, kama ina mtest anasikiza but yeye anasikiza ndavyo na bila kupata wao kupata ujumbe yote ana block your number because too many new numbers kept on coming kumtest kumuuliza maswali 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 kumchunguza tu but hawako anajua hawako anajua ati Mungu pia anatusaidia kutuweka vizuri hii kama venye ikawa mambo yakaenda venye yenda but ikafika mwezi wa sit, saba nika travel back to the country again nikarudi tena Kenya nikarudi na Isaac nikakuja na Isaac Isaac was the first time Isaac kufika Kenya tangu azaliwe It was unfortunate my dad passed away akuwa na Isaac sasa imefika sasa Isaac namleta tukafika pale second time hiyo mwezi wa saba tulifika pale tukaenda Mombasani tukachifinjari tukamaliza tukakuja kisi tukakaka hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua mali tuko nobody knew about our location ikafika wakati mwingine nikaorganize a trip kufika nyumbani nilipofika nyumbani hivi nilifika ghafra ghafra nilifika nyumbani kwetu ghafra nobody knew i was to come nikapata madhea kwa pale nje ana daondoa mahindi akastuka tukapaki gari pale nje mimi mara yangu ya kwanza my first time kuona nyumba yangu ile ambayo nilijenga my first time kuona kaburi ya baba yangu tuliweza kwenda kwenda kwa kaburi ya baba yangu tukaomba na kijana wangu Isaac ndiye alitukumbusha sijui nini limguza akasema mbona tusi we can we pray on grandpa grave i don't know Isaac ni kijana mdogo alikuwa 6 7 alikuwa metan 7 years but akaturimind kitu kingine ilikuwa kubwa sana tukashangaa mbona aliongea hiyo yote but there was a word of wisdom ilipita kwake mpaka akatukumbusha tuliomba aza kakaangalia picha za grandparent wake ya kwa ni history hakuwa hii muona but akauliza this this your dad yes this my grandpa yes ya kwa hivyo pale nyumbani wakati nilifika pale my first time kufika kwa nyumba yangu nikatembea kwenda kuona nyumba yangu ambayo nilijenga hiyo ni 2021 2021 July I was shocked nikapata nyumba yangu imewekwa
kama imetengenezwa kama sizi la ngombe pale kwa varanda wamechaza hizi hizi the remains za kudondoa mahindi wamekea ngombe sasa wamechaza hapo sasa ngombe kule next sasa nikashangaa hiyo ni nyumba nilipaka rangi expensive mbona mchakaze nyumba yangu hivi pale kwa ground hapo kwa compound nilikuwa nimenunua miti fulani zile maua zingine kutoka Kisumu expensive one hiyo place nilikuwa nimetengeneza na ile ni cost pesa zile miti zote nilipata hakuna zimeharibiwa ngombe ndinaekwa hapa inakula hapo hiyo ni compound yangu but ngombe ndinaekwa hapo inakula ina, 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 ina nyansi hapo hivi imeharibu imeharibu paka hata hii place ionekane kama iko sawa niliangalia nikasema sasa hii ni nikauliza mama nini inaendelea hapa hivi sasa hii hata kama mtu ajafa hivi hii ni madharau hii nyumba ile ni cost pesa mingi sana mbona mufanye nyumba kana kwamba nimekufa something i never liked mama akaambia watu akaambia akaniambia mama kanyamaza mama aliona vibaya sana aliona yenyewe ni vibaya they are doing something wrong akaambia watu waka, wakatoa hizo nini waka nini wakatoa kama naangalia wakatoa akatoa akatoa akapanguza kila kitu hapo hivyo but it was very shameful Nini kasema ni sawa. Hii ni nyumba ile ni cost pesa mingi. Pale nyuma nimetengeneza vizuri but nasikia hapo ndio wanachinjia ngombe. Anytime there's a party, there's a sherehe, there's a matanga, there's anything wamefanya kama kichinjio. Hapo ndio ngombe inachinjwa because hapo ni varanda yenye mikorogeo hapo chini. Wanaleka ngombe huko kwa nini? Wanachinja ngombe huko. Sasa nikashangaa hata kama ni madharau ya kiasi gani. Mbona mufanyie mtu hivyo? imekuwa hivyo imekuwa hivyo mambo yamekuwa venye yamekuwa madharau ya kiasi ya juu but ni sawa ah uh, mimi nikatoka nyumbani nind spend only 2 hours siku kula siku fanya chochote nika witness vitu vya ziko nikaangalia nikaangalia nikatoka nikaenda nikaambia mama mzazi nikamwambia mama kesho yake kuja mali fulani ndatuma gari kuja kukuchukua kitu ya mwendo wa saa 3 asubuhi kwa tayari ndatuma gari ukuje kuchukuliwa mamu ituma gari kakuja kamchukua tukakuwa pale kisi town kwa hotel tuka spend siku mzima manake mzazi ni mzazi lazima mimi mimi sikuwa nimekosana na mama yangu mzazi tulikuwa sawa had to spend time with my mom tukakula pale one of the hotel pale Kisi town tukaongea the whole day i think for around seven hours ah uh, tena nika nikaamua mimi mwenyewe kusindikiza mama kuwasindikiza nyumbani mimi ndio niliwasindikiza mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nataka mtu apeleke lakini nikasema acha niwapeleke but don't nilikuwa na hope but nikasema sababu waelea Hakuna mtu anajua kama naweza rudi huko nikaambia acha niwapeleke nikawapeleka nikawasindikiza nikafika nyumbani nikakuwa na opportunity ya kupiga picha mara ya kwanza sikupiwa hata picha kwa hiyo nyumba yangu but hiyo saa hiyo jioni sasa nikapiga picha hapo hivyo hivyo nikarudi nikatoka nikaenda nikapiga madhe kwa yeye kila kitu nikaanza kupanga safari yangu ya kukaribia kurudi back to US hiyo kaisha hiyo that was my last time talk to my mom sharing to my mom with my mom na ikakuwa hivyo nikarudi hivyo US ikafika wakati mwingine now this is very shocking mama yangu ile ilikuwa mwaka wa 2023 mama yangu akawa ako mgonjwa Venye alikuwa mgonjwa akapelekwa pale Nairobi Alipopelekwa pale Nairobi aliweza kulazwa hospitali akulazwa hospitali Alikuwa na utubiwa but ana, ana, anaenda hospitali anarudi nyumbani hospitali rudi nyumbani but mama ikaonekana mama ako mgonjwa but 
uh, vile anashughulikiwa ilikuwa very funny the information about uonjo yake ikakuwa inafichwa wataki watu watujue mama communication ikakatishwa kwa kila watu mimi pale mali alikuwa mewekwa nili wakutaka mimi niongee na mama nilijaribu kupiga simu nikapata simu yangu direct namba yangu imeblokiwa somebody told me at namba yake imeblokiwa lakini unaweza muongelesha through namba ya mfanyakazi nikapewa namba ya mfanyakazi nikawa nikizungumza na mama through namba ya mfanyakazi nikakuwa naongea na yeye na zungumza na zungumza na zungumza lakini ileze vile anaendelea nikiwa nikimpatia hamu nikaanza kutuma pesa kwenda kwa huyo mfanyakazi ndio mama aweze kupata ile kenya anahitaji kukula kenya na feel kukula mfanyakazi na kuwa anamnunulia we kept on doing that mfanyakazi alikuwa mu Uganda ambaye alikuwa afanya kazi mzuri sana my sister you did a very good job to take care of my mom huyo mfanyakazi wakati alikuwa na shughuli kadha zote aliweza kunibia siri mingi sana yenye hawakujua kama nitaambiwa through huyo mfanyakazi kuna vitu mingi aliona akashinda kuelewa lakini aliweza kuniambia nikaachia Mungu nikawa niki wakati waligundua huyo mfanyakazi anaongea na mimi wakaweza kumthreaten na kumwambia asiweze kuongea na mimi asiweze kuongea na mimi mfanyakazi ali, alikasirika akawaambia mimi huyu ni kijana wake makosa gani akiongea na mama yake amefanya nini mbona mna umama wenu mama wenu mzazi amjui vile anaendelea mimi ndio nashughulika hapa na huyu ni kijana yake anaongea na yeye kuna shida gani hamu tanikataza kijana yake kuongea na mama yake mzazi na kuna kitu anaongea mbaya wanaongea ni mama yake huyu ni mama yake amemzaa huyu ni kijana yake mbona mnataka kumkata mbona mnafanyia mna watu hivi akakaza hata kama ni vibaya ni vibaya waje kweli semwe eh uh, I wish ningepata recording lakini ni kurekodiwa. Akaniambia hivyo. But mwenye alimwambia hayo yote sababu msichana alikaa nguvu. Ule akastuka. Baada akaja akampigia simu akamwambia I'm sorry. Aliona hiki timekuwa mkumu sababu msichana amekasirika, akaona hiki tikifika. Lakini ningekuwa ningepata hiyo recording ningeichukulia hatua but haikurekodiwa. Nikaambia mwafanya kazi next time akikupigia simu kama hiyo Make sure you record for me. But haikuwezekana. Huyu hakuenda kupiga tena aliacha kupiga akakuwa anaji anachirusha mbali kidogo sababu manaka aliogopa huyu mfanyakazi anaweza anaweza muweka in trouble. Kenye walifanya waliweza kufukuza huyu mfanyakazi at night kama umbwa. Wakati waligundua huyu ndiye anatoa information walimfukuza kama umbwa baada ya kumfukuza kama umbwa mpanyakazi alisikia vibaya sana akaniambia Albert nimefukuzwa na sijapewa mshahara wangu na hata simu amenyanganywa yenye alikuwa anatumia mimi nikamwambia enda andika report kwa police station na uko na right ya kulipa pesa zako you don't have to go back to work with them but you have a right to be given your money it's your money nikamununulia simu ya 1500 na nikamwambia tumie hiyo simu na uende kwa police station uandike report akaenda kwa police akaandika report police wakakamsaidia wakaenda waka shika ule mwenye alikuwa amemwandika amemfukuza alafu wakapea yeye fine akalipa pesa na akalipa pesa kama fine walilipa haraka haraka because walijua kumeenda kubaya kutaenda kubaya 
wako kataa kulipa but walilipa pesa hata kama walichapa fine ya pesa ngapi sijui ngapi i think the fine was eh, ilikuwa mshahara wake na fine ya 10000 na mshahara wake sijui ilikuwa nimesahau mshahara wake walilipa hizo zote plus the fine walilipa haraka haraka maana waliona iko nini but mwenye huyo akilipa alikuwa analipa kama anatoa machozi so the shocking story this huyo akafukuzwa akaenda mimi nishindwa si hadi wa sasa hivi sijaisikia alienda wapi hajai nipigia namba yake alikuwa mu Uganda namba yake iliende kanuni kwa sasa siji kama alijua mama mama alikuja akaga dunia so when he lifika hapo hivyo the communication between me and my mom vinya alifukuzwa huyo wali ilikatika mimi si kwa communicate na mama yangu mzazi kutoka hiyo time so the communication ikapotea hivyo a month later ambayo ilikuwa ni december hivi nikasikia nikajaribu kufuatilia kutafuta mbinu yote mmesikia mama anaendelea namna gani maana nobody is giving me information nikaja nikaambiwa yes mama alionekana kayole akiwa kanisani amepata nafuu kuna wakati alikuwa mbaya but amepata nafu. Mama akuko hospitali. So, mama yakukua na pata nafu ikakuwa at ni sawa. Nikasema ni sawa but lakini sina sina hakuna mtu hakuna namba yake ya simu, hakuna mtu anataka they, no, they don't want us to communicate. Madha kaja wakati waligundua watu wanajaribu kufuatilia anaendelea vipi na madha alikuwa na simu anataka kuongea na watu anashangaa simu yake mbona watu wampigi simu mbona watu wamekataa kumpigia kumbe walienda wakatoa sim card wali block numbers wakagundua bado numbers maadha anaweza fanya nini anaweza pigia watu peke yake by sending please call me but what wakafanya kitu kingine ya kuamua ku, kuchukua simu yake akakaa kama siku tatu hana simu ikaregeshwa back wakati hiyo phone ilirekeshwa back ikachenjua sim card sako na sim haoni ajui sababu gani watu wampigi sim hata helewi ye pia ye the month later how are dear mom hata kama walisema pata nafu sasa tuna communication ikafika december 24th mimi nikapata ujumbe usiku wa manane hapa amerikani ilikuwa saa 8 i had a call kuambiwa mama bad news My mom is no more. Nilichoka nikaisha but had nothing to do. My mom passed away December 24 Christmas Eve. Mimi hapa hivi nilikuwa natayarisha Christmas at the same time kutayarisha kupata mtoto mgeni. Mtoto wetu alikuwa anafaa kuwa due January 12. But sababu ya kifo ya Made things changed wife yangu akaanza kusikia na umu anasumbuliwa akakuwa very uncomfortable very uncomfortable tukawa tunaenda hospitali in and out kuangalia kama nini imekuwa mbaya shida ni gani but tukaenda mara ya kwanza tukaregeshwa mara ya pili tukaregeshwa ikafika mara ya tatu ikakuwa too much atakuwa very mtoto ni kama alikuwa anasema awezi anataka kuzaliwa at the same time ikafika tare 28 to kind hospital 
tulipofika hospitali atuku tulibaki pale aka quad beated then coming 29 6 am the bilexis was born to take over from my mom something like wiped my tears the bilexis alizaliwa right on time and wiped my tears god was merciful to us alisema mama atazaliwa something that shocked me and i was so happy at the same time i was really crying but at the same time i was so happy mungu anafanyanga miujiza yake mikakati ya ku fanya safari za madhe ziliendelea na wakaanza kufanya mambo ya kufanya ma program wakati program ilikuwa inaendelea aba kuni involve nobody told me about the program nobody talked about anything about the program ya masishi ya made yes i was told i knew everything from the outside information into ya everything but from the family members they were told to shut off not to tell me anything something very shocking they created a whatsapp group while create whatsapp group na kwa hiyo whatsapp group tuliweza waliweza kupeana link watu waanze ku, kuingia kwa hiyo whatsapp group from the word go mimi mwenyewe sikuweka kwa hiyo whatsapp group sikutumiwa link ni join your whatsapp group something which is very funny but there's somebody mwenye alisikia this is very unfair why they cannot give you the link to join the whatsapp group for your mom program i can tumia the link i can ambia join use that link to join i joined nilipo join your group nilitulia contribution started guys tulianza mambo na contribution contribution ya ya pesa watu walitoa pesa kutoka namba 1 namba 2 namba 3 namba 4 namba 5 i send my contribution number 5 na hii ni evidence kwa hapa hivi na unaangalia hapa kwa screen ilituma mchango wangu number 5 na maana hivyo sasa program limeanza number 5 hakuna kitime wako hakuna mtu ametoa pesa pesa nilitoa siko hapa kwa screen mnaziona ni 1100 na 2000 i'm the one who gave the most money pesa nyingi yenye mtu yote akotoa na nilitoa saa ngapi number 5 sikutaka wakutaka kunyeka kwa whatsapp group but nili join niko pale kwa hiyo whatsapp group sijawekwa kama admin i'm the family member niko na online platform niko na marafiki wa social media who kept on asking me about social uh, whatsapp ni gani whatsapp ni gani tutoe pesa aki nilikuwa na haya kubwa sana kuambia hakuna whatsapp because mimi si admin mimi si kuchanga pesa yote nichangishe mtu yote ati nichangie pesa ya matanga ya made. Niliacha kila kitu kwa hivyo. But hiyo WhatsApp group walichanga pesa. Eh, eh, 
niliweza kushida kuambia watu nikanyamaza watu walikuwa wanaandikia message wale like take heart take heart take heart nilifanya one of the video kwa TikTok kuambia the, the news about the death of my mom that video ilipata reception kubwa iko iko na one almost 2 million views with so many comments thank you guys thank you guys ambao waliandika comments zenu za kuni comfort muliandika hizo comments views ilingia you were ready to support me but wengine wakaniandikia walikuja kwa those one who reached out to me kuniandikia message siku niambia pole na kuniuliza whatsapp group nikashinde kuambia whatsapp group nikani because siku had me pale kwa whatsapp group tukaweza tukatoa pesa but wakati ilifika the newspaper came out na mimi nikaiangalia pale nilikuwa nataka kupostia watu wangu wa social media kuangalia newspaper imetoka nikapata wakati nilipost hivi nikaangalia hiyo newspaper nikapata i'm not even my family i'm recognized this albert alikuwa pale but mimi as a married person family yangu ilikuwa recognized something like i didn't like nimetoa pesa mingi lakini hata kuwekwa kwa gazeti na family yangu kwa kwa na istaiko kwa something ya kuonyesha ti they wanted to disown me with my family hata kama nimetoa pesa hiyo ni ya bure kachia mungu aiza ka kijana yangu ndio kijana umochokoro ndio mchukuu mkubwa kulingana na desturi ya kisi yeye nilikuwa nafaa kupiwa ege kamago ile ku kuchimba before kaburi jimbwe alikuwa nafaa kufanya hiyo because he's the one who was entitled to do that nobody contacted me nobody asked me about Isaac coming Isaac yes or no nobody asked anything about it kumbuka Isaac kandi alilewa na made for five years hapa America tangu Isaac kazaliwe made alimlea for five years nobody asked me nikasema ni saa Sikuweko kwa gazeti, siku wa recognize. Ikafika siku ya barrio. Hapo ndio mambo ilikuwa mbaya. The barrio of the mom ilikuwa sawa. It was very beautiful. I really enjoyed to see the videos the way it was. I like it and I saw indeed my mom ni safari yake, ni harusi yake ilikuwa sawa. What what's shocking was The person who was given to do online streaming is my friend but akujua tu ni mama yangu alipewa kazi yeye Bob Media I was watching everything online Bob Media is my friend mimi nimeongea na mjua niko na nabaki asim tunazungumza but hakujua pale ni kwetu nyumbani alikuwa hakuelewa paka baadaye wakati nimpia simu baadaye nikamwambia pale ni nyumbani alikuja kushangaa baadaye but wakati vitu zikuwa zina streamline online live watu walikuwa na peana Diana and Albert pole sana Diana and Albert pole sana Diana and Albert sisi ndio tumekuwa tumerushwa nje lakini pale kwa streaming unaona Diana and Albert pole sana Diana and Albert pole sana I take her take her Thank you guys for standing with us you never you didn't know anything about what's happening Pop Media alifanya kazi mzuri But me wakati nilikuwa na check angalia hiyo masishi nikaangalia nikaangalia kutoka hapa nikapata antisipatiwi nafasi kuna dadangu mwenye kwa hapa Amerikani alipewa nafasi akaongea kwa niaba yake akaongea kwa muda mwingi but ikafika mimi hakuna mtu alikoganize Albert pia hajakuja anafaa kupiwa simu aongee program ikaendelea ikaendelea nikachungulia nikasema hapana nikapigia one of my brothers step brother wangu simu nikamwambia enda hadi kwa chukua uchukue upe up, usikate hii simu uambie nataka kuongea nataka ku, kutoa kuongea kwa masishi ya mama yangu i cannot it cannot go just like that like they did to my dad wako nipatie nafasi lazima niongee kama ni mbaya ni mbaya akaenda pale kwa chukua akakata protocol 
nikampatia nguvu nikamwambia enda kama ni mbaya ni mbaya hii ni very shameful na hii ni mbaya hakuwa na nguvu aliogopa kidogo but nikamwambia wewe enda nimekuambia wewe enda kama ni mbaya itakuwa mbaya kaenda pale akaambia ule wakajaribu kukata mit, mitambo 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 but finally walimpatia nafasi nikaongea sikiza hiyo sauti at least ujue niliongea vipi sikiza hiyo sauti kwanza ujue Albert niliongea vizuri sana na hii sauti nakuwekea vinye tulirekodiwa kwa YouTube lakini sikiza tena hapa hivi usikie vinye niliongea niliongea kwa sauti kidogo lakini sikuleta kufurugu mimi yoyote nikaongea yeyote ikaisha sikiza kwanza Mwenzi baji mwai kiranile ete nyangi ya mama Kinsi chiaba wana marakova Itanga ni tiganile li bagiri yoko bakuwa nandwe kwa hindi mbi ya mwono mwenzi mbi ya mwore Naki mcheno ya mwobo uyuma mwo sirire umuroma kogoti Yara kopa kongu mwono onye nara konyora bagiri yoko lila mama Mwaka katata asirete tinachete matanga Amor sire de asire te chinga ki chimbe mchiranya wa testi mire gafura una mamo sire de e christmas ya renge tere sina ine <hesitation> nga kumisa na ra kini na nde nga tua nga tete banya sae e ki kia reire to komanya ma tuka ka era de ra tato ka monya ora mama mama na monya ora te Nwarega na inche Iye koro kina nyasaye na wate plani ya ye Nche wano nga tigara na kie kia ngele teti nanyo kuhichandi Ama tanga mama kuhikomo chia Kuhu icha noko nene Na noko no Ne eto kwa sete mono Una inche Na vere te nanyo Toto opportunity yoko mwenye na mama Aga inga amerika Kika kiki miyake tari Miyake angi miyake tano Before mama tere na Kenya, iliyo muga kata taruari, mama no arenge na inchega. Na vete, na vete kaka kondendro mwa nane, mutani kio no iliyo ni mwano, tiga kiti chanti ipi. Kaki, no ukumia, na no ukui. Kaki ni rende, kwenye tonda tewe. Sa yuko rigoro. Onye mama ama ina na monye ore na royo Nya sae na mama nyete Asa mubeka Mama na nchita bantu Numuntu kwa bantu Tuarede tuarede Lakini ya totebe na nya Pwens na otorigerezi Ekele ditu kwa jaure ike To kumanya Nya sae na mama nyete Nande tia nina nini nande nsie kanga iko Mbi ya mwono soko nga jivaga Onsi jivaga soko cha mwati ya soko kwa tira na se Nyangi ya mama Mbi ya mwono Mbi ya mwono Mbi ya mwono Mwabele biloria Asa bonsia Nige tida kina ndi mwangoni le Oikira nye Ese 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 nyangi ya mama Asa nisana nyasati ya mabu watu Thank you Tunashukuru Mbi ya mwono Ekwaya Na hile kwa nyingine ambao ni mesema ya magena mei Baada ya awa Na nini Sao Hayo sasa hiyo ni sauti yangu yenye ulisikia nikiongea niliongea maneno chache kwa kikisi Kiswahili na maanisha hivi niliongea kwa kikisi but speech yangu ilikuwa inalenga kuambia mama amekufa tulikuwa tunampenda but Mungu amemchukua mimi mwenyewe sijakuja lakini kutokuja kwangu ni sababu ya nini ya mtoto mwenye nimepata mgeni huyu ndiye amenizuia kukuja kwangu si kwenda kuweka vitina si kwenda kuongea yote si kwenda kuongea ile walikuwa nafikiria niliongea very short speech in a kissy fashion na wakashanga hivyo bona ameongea hivyo watu walinipigia makofi na walisikia vizuri sana kusikia nimeongea na wakasikia vizuri sana kusikia nimetaja mtoto amezaliwa mama amezaliwa hiyo story kaenda venye ilienda mambo yakakwa mimi hiyo kitu iliniuma sana iliniuma sana lakini mama alilala vizuri mama tunampenda 
na mama akulala alilala kijua mimi na mimi kama kitinda mimba yake nilikuwa na yeye hadi dakika ya mwisho paka sasa hivi najua mama ako sawa mali yako mimi na yeye tuko sawa ngawaje ni disowned na familia yangu i'm very disowned niko hapa america very okay mungu amecheza kama yeye kama si mungu ningekuwa kwa depression something inya haijanifanyikia ningekuwa na mental issue because hawa watu wananisukuma kwa kona fulani lakini pia Mungu amecheza amesema uwezekani mimi niko sawa niko very okay ili nitesa kwa raw but nikafika mahali nikasema Mungu atanisaidia mimi hakuna mtu nasongumuza kwa familia yangu hata mmoja nilijaribu kuongea na ndugu yangu but anaongea na mimi akiwa na wasiwasi manaki wanamwangalia akiongea na mimi wanamuuliza anakuambia nini anakuambia nini ye pia kawa anakuwa na wasiwasi na mimi nikasema kama ni hivyo sawa kama uwezi kusimamia kama mwanaume ujue huni ndugu yako anaongea na yeye ni sawa nikaachana na yeye nikamwambia sitawahi kupiga simu na sitawahi piga paka sasa hivi inaenda kumalizika mwaka mmoja ini miezi tisa imeenda Mungu amenisaidia niko sawa na yote yamesaulika bila kuoga na niko huru niko fine na enjoy my family is okay I celebrate my parents, my two parents, kama mashuja, together with my wife, Diana. Diana amesimama na mimi. Kama ni mwingine angetoroka sema hizi hizi drama za hii familia angetoroka kitabu. Diana amesimama na mimi. Diana amefanya nimekuwa na nguvu sija kuanda kwa depression. I feel like I have a family this the fact my family kuni disown kuniacha bado niko na familia dayana yuko na mimi dayana amenishikilia dayana ameni amenishika mkono na i'm smiling and i'm okay nilijenga nyumba ile nyumba venye mliona pale nimeamua kusarenda sina haja nayo na sitawaienda Kenya mimi I'm okay wherever I am My parents will pass away Siku fraia Nilichenga nyumba nikijua ati pale ni nyumbani Hawakutaka nihudhurie matanga ya ma, wazazi wangu Hawakutaka ni nione wa vile wazazi wangu wa venye imekuwa But ni sawa Mungu ako sawa hayo hata yamesaulika I'm fine and I'm okay. I know this story it's very touching and very it's a story yenye nimejia kia kwa roll nimesema haja niongee yote mjuu kweli ni gani. But Albert I'm blessed. I'm happy. His story is also really normal but sign me niko huru sasa. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm smiling. Thank you. Glory to the Lord mwenye menyeka nguvu Sitaenda mbali waja niachie haya if you find this one a very shocking to you usijali ni ya dunia the last word nitawaachia nyinyi watu wanapitia mengi but be strong and believe in god mungu atakusaidia god will fight for you no matter what you can be rejected god cannot reject you that's the word to take home with you ukiwa na mungu wako mungu hatakuacha they will run away from you they will disown you but god will never reject you mimi ni kwa hapa american very happy very fine i'm a refugee i can call myself a refugee now in a foreign country but luckily ini inji nyenye niko hapa ni inji mzuri si yuko mbaya sitaseki thank you guys for watching thank you for listening my story that's my story then